Hey guys, Phyllis here. This video is going to be on the legendary gems that are useful for the demon hunter and I'm not only going to go through the list of the useful legendary gems but I'm going to talk about each one and why they're useful and what kind of situation you might want to use them in because depending on what you're doing you might want to take advantage of different gems and I'm gonna I have them divided here into the top three that I normally would run and then other gems that are useful for different reasons so the first one is the enforcer this is going to increase the damage of your pets and reduce the damage that they take and the damage reduction is going to help your companions survive especially in higher greater rifts and the damage to pets is going to apply to your sentries. Your sentries are considered pets so they will benefit from that damage increase. Second one is the Bane of the Trapped. It's another damage increase against enemies under control and pairing effects. And this is part of the reason why solo demon hunter usually run frost to be able to get the maximum uptime on not only the Bane of the Trap but also the passive Call of the Weak. Um, it also gives you a little aura, which reduces the movement speed of monsters, and that's useful when you're being swarmed by monsters and you're trying to kite. It's nice to have kind of a little bubble around your character that's going to slow them down and help you get out of the danger. So I really do like that secondary, and obviously the damage increase is very strong. In the third gem, we have the Zay Stone of Vengeance. This one increases the damage based on the distance between the monster and the source of the damage. And when I say the source of the damage, this is going to apply specifically to your sentries. It's going to, the damage is going to be based on the distance between the sentry and the monster. Now, even though it says the damage is increased by 6% for every 10 yards, you don't actually have to get to the 10 yards to get the damage increase. If your five yard, if your sentry is only five yards away, it's going to be a three percent increase, and it's calculated down to the fraction of the yard. So you are going to be getting some amount of damage increase, essentially all the time. And the secondary, the twenty percent chance to stun, that's not going to trigger from your sentries, but it will trigger obviously when you cast yourself. So these are the three that I usually run when I'm doing greater rifts. Now, the other gems that are useful is going to be the Gogok of Swiftness. This increases your attack speed and your cooldown reduction, up to 15% attack speed and 15% cooldown reduction. This is going to be useful for certain builds, maybe hitting a certain breakpoint with your sentries and attack speed, as well as having enough cooldown reduction to specifically maintain 100% smoke screen with the lightning build. Uh, this gem is useful in other builds. You can use the Kreider Shot and certain variations around the Kreider Shot to take advantage of the gem as well. And that's quite effective, so the gem is useful in a few different situations. It's just not typical um, to run that one. So it is a good one. It's useful. The Bane of the Powerful. This one is very good for... T6 for a damage increase on T6. If you're trying to farm T6 faster, you know, you have the elite damage on T6. Trash monsters pretty much die instantly, so the elite damage is quite useful. And then 20% damage, usually you're killing elites often enough, you're going to have the 100% uptime on that. Uh, in the higher greater rifts, the uptime is questionable. I mean, when you first enter a rift, you have to kill an elite before you really start to get the whole benefit of the gem. So the value is diminished as you take longer to kill elites. So it's a very good damage increase on T6 for speed farming and things like that. Greater Rifts, I don't usually run that one. Um, now we have the Taeguk. This one is useful in certain builds, specifically the Donatas. Um, whenever you use the Donetta combo, it's going to change the Vault to Cost Hatred, which is going to trigger the stacks of the Taeguk. It's going to give you a nice little damage increase and armor bonus. And it's useful in other builds. You can utilize the gem in a number of different ways, uh, but the Donetta's is going to be the most popular, most common use for this gem. Nice damage and armor 
increase right there and then the poison gem the gem of aphasious toxin this was just changed to work with your sentries and pets so um, your pets and sentries will trigger the damage the dot and the damage debuff so this has become useful additionally the poison damage over time will pull the mark for death from the calamity I'm not sure if that's working as intended but this gem is useful in a couple different situations for group damage buff it's really effective as well as providing the buff for the mark through the calamity and the pain enhancer is working similar to the poison gem the dots that are produced from these critical hits are pulling the mark for death from the calamity so you know not only do you get that damage over time when you crit you get the attack speed if there are monsters near you which is kind of tricky to take advantage of but and then we have the moratorium this is a defensive gem one of the only defensive gems they have a couple other ones but this is the only one I've really found to be effective some of the other ones aren't strong enough to justify losing out on the damage and I don't think that this one really is but if you're having survivability issues mm, and damage isn't a problem you can look into running this one it is effective in the form of damage reduction it's gonna you know significantly reduce the spikiness of the damage which is the real problem for the demon hunter so it gives you uh, more time to recover from having taken damage and things like that and the seven second duration you know once you have the gem at a higher enough level the damage is spread out long enough to where you know by the time the damage is all done you will have been healed from your Templar or maybe you had a health potion or something like that so definitely not useless but not top tier um, for that gem and that kind of kind of the same thing for all the, all of these gems these gems I would consider top tier and then uh, the Gogok, the Bane of the Powerful and the Taeguk I would say that they're situationally top tier you know if you're speed farming t6 this one's going to be really good certain builds are going to need this one and certain builds are going to benefit from this one inherently um, these ones this one might be if you're using a calamity i don't think that this is the best way to utilize the mark assuming that it is working as intended um, it's essentially a damage loss to run the gem when you could get 30 percent damage roughly from one of these that's me covering the gems that I found useful for the demon hunter that's not to say that the other gems are useless but these are the more useful more popular more common gems that I see people utilizing so hope that helps some of you guys thanks for watching see you next time